Hello everyone and welcome back to Dizzy Tales with me, Allie. If you're new here to the Dizzy fam, welcome. We're so happy that you're here and that you decided to click on this video today. If you are not already subscribed to this channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the little bell so that you're notified every time I upload a video, which is on Fridays. Today's video is a little fun vlog and an Gallaty Month 2 update. So I hope you guys enjoy the week that I had with the kids and just the fun that we had this week. So without further ado, let's just get into today's video. Hey Dizzy fam. Today I went with my husband and my kids and we drove um, go-karts. I actually got to drive go-karts today. I did it twice before I started feeling nauseous and started walking really weird. <laughs> Thanks VM. Um, and we played putt-putt. It was hot and I did not drink enough water so I came home and being overheated triggers, you guessed it, a migraine. And it's actually um, pain. That's why I'm icing my head. Um, painful and throbbing. And my left eye is starting to droop. I um, totally freaked out my husband. He thought maybe I was having a stroke or something. But it's just migraine symptom. So I'm just chilling in here in a quiet, cool, dark room. Louis's been coming in and out. He's crazy. He's bringing me like all of his toys. So that's how um, this Saturday night is going. Why are you being crazy? Stop being crazy. Guys, he keeps bringing me his toys to make me feel better. <laughs> You're just talking a lot, aren't ya? As you just saw in the last clip, Saturday took a uh, rough turn. Like you saw real raw footage of me having a migraine. It had the vestibular symptoms, it had pain. Sometimes vestibular migraine doesn't always come with pain. So this was kind of a unique situation for me because I usually don't get pain. And Saturday I did. Louie was trying to cheer me up and he was just being a spaz and bringing me all of his toys. Sunday was a little bit better. I was in postrome, which is the last phase of migraine, so I was very tired, lethargic, uh, lots of brain fog. I went to church and overdid it, so we didn't end up going to the pool on Sunday because I had spent all of my energy at worship. Monday was another rest day, uh, just recouping from the busy weekend we had from going on go-karts and playing putt-putt. It's interesting because before I had vestibular migraine, I took all these little things for granted and now I can't really do that. I have to, to you know, take a good day and run with it and know that in the you know, short run, the next day I'm probably going to pay for it. And so I had a lot of fun on Saturday and I paid for it on Sunday and Monday. Tuesday, I had another pain vestibular migraine. I woke up with it. Um, the weather has been really, really hot here and very humid. And I'm not really sure what set it off, probably lack of sleep. And I just peaked, went over my migraine threshold. So that's probably why with that. So I was in bed most of the day just trying to rest and kick it. Thankfully, Wednesday it was gone and I was feeling great. So the kids and I, we went to the pool all day and we had a great time. And I'm going to put in some clips of them right now. I 
as you can see, we had a great day at the pool. Lyric jumped off the diving board. Kai finally got to go down the yellow slide. He's been like wanting to do that forever. Um, we went on the lazy river, which you guys didn't see. We spent a lot of time um, doing cannonballs and just having a lot of fun. If it weren't for me being in the water the whole time, I would not have made it at all because the heat was unbearable. So by being in the pool, I did not get overheated. And I got to enjoy the day with my two boys and we just had so much fun. We even had two ice creams and we just had a lot of fun. Thursday, super tired um, because we spent all day at the pool the day before, like you guys saw. And so we kind of kept it low key at home. We did some tie dye which was a lot of fun and we were making tie-dye shirts because the boys had outgrown their tie-dye shirts from last year and we always wear tie-dye for Head for the Cure which is a 5k and it's about defeating brain cancer. My brother is a brain cancer survivor so we do do this every year and we wear tie-dye for Team Craig so we were making new Team Craig tie-dye and just having a blast. I'm going to show you guys our tie-dye process, you know, having fun, and then I also wanted to show you how our shirts came out. So I'm going to put that in right now too. Okay, Dizzy fam, this is real time, Friday, I'm here filming and editing uh, <laughs> because I usually film on Tuesdays, but like you guys saw and heard, I was not doing well at all, so everything just kind of got pushed to Friday, so if you're seeing this video, that means I was successful and I got it up on YouTube, so yay for me. Let's talk Emgality month two. I just finished month two and just had my third injection on Tuesday, ironically. So looking at this past month, I had the nine day vestibular migraine cycle. From all of the um, unpredictable weather and barometric pressure sh shifts, so my neurologist put me on a migraine cocktail, which I think I talked about in the last week's video possibly uh, it was like a bunch of some people have been asking me it was like some steroids or some pain meds nausea uh, diuretics I think to kind of help with the fluid come down in my ears so I wasn't spinning as much and that really helped it gave me you know some more good days and such but as you can see that was like almost like close to half of the month that nine day cycle of VM and then I think you add on two migraine days plus 
two more days to recover because you're in prostrome, that's like four more. So you're already at what, 13 days last month of that are migraine days. So I'm still classified as chronic. I was talking with um, Dr. Bay, my neurologist, about MGality, and he says it takes about six months for us to see any type of improvement. And I'm only on month three. <laughs> well, I'm going on month three, so hopefully we're gonna see some progress there and I will not have as many VM days and I'll be enjoying life a little bit more like you saw at the pool and you know doing those fun things but I know that my life is a lot different now and I'm having to definitely self-regulate and put myself first so if I am going to do something fun I know I need to rest up the day before so I can do the activity and then I know I'll pay for it afterwards and then I'll end up resting too, but it'll all be worth it. I do have to say that I do think Imgality is helping even though I'm only seeing little improvements here or there. The two migraines that I migraines I had this past week were a lot shorter than they would have been before Imgality. So each of those would have been each a week at least by themselves. So I do think that is definitely an improvement. Well, I think that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog and all of the fun stuff that we did. And if you made it this far, congratulations, you did it. And I appreciate um, that you watched it. Um, all 40 of you, thank you so much for subscribing. I, it means the world to me that you guys would want to know what's going on in my life or know more about VM. I hope that maybe we'll get up to 50 in the next, you know, few weeks. That would be awesome. But um, make sure you leave a comment down below if you're liking what you see or you have suggestions of what other types of videos you might want me to make. That would be much appreciated. And I think that's it. So I will see you guys in the next Friday video. Bye everyone.